Hi, it's WRTV's Ray Steele. I hope you like this video. In fact, I hope you will click that like button down there and click the subscribe button too so you don't miss the new stuff. Or you can click the subscribe button at the end of this video. Really appreciate it. A key group working with the LGBTQIA community here in Indy and throughout Central Indiana is the Indiana Youth Group. Chris Paulson is their CEO, our guest today. Chris, how are you? I'm doing well. Thanks for having us. Pride is here and it's back in person this year after two years or the festival is back in person after two years. Um, it's, it's really important. How, how important is it to have that person to person contact uh, when it comes to Pride Month, Pride events, especially now with a lot of stuff going on that we'll get into. Yeah, um, being in person is critical for our youth um, year round, but especially during Pride, so they have that support and know that people are there that do support them and uh, want them to do the best that they can in life. For someone who might not know, the Indiana Youth Group is exactly what? Um, we serve youth ages 12 to 24. Um, we offer basic needs, um, housing, food, uh, mental health support, and then just a fun place to um, hang out and be with their friends and um, be able to see adults who are LGBTQ who have succeeded in life. It's a critical time for, uh, uh, and, and you're, you're vulnerable at that age, regardless of you know, whether you're LGBTQ or not, uh, that's, that's just a vulnerable age to be, isn't it? It is. Um, being a uh, youth these days is not easy um, with social media and all those things, so we're just there to um, be a support and uh, to have role models that um, these youth can follow. As you said, it, it, it's a vulnerable time and I imagine you deal with a lot of young people who are, are going to find, they, they need somewhere where they can find acceptance because they might not be finding it at home. We do see that. Um, one in four youth will be thrown out of their home when they come out to their family of origin. So we want to be a place that they can softly land um, and get those things that they might be missing because their families aren't supportive, um, food, housing, um, just someone to say you're all right and um, we see you um, just as you are. This has been a, a very difficult year for the transgender community with a lot of attention paid to not, not just in Indiana but around the country. A lot of laws passed regarding athletics uh, and, and really the last few years uh, when it comes to transgender rights. Uh, I imagine that's something you're having to deal with a lot these days. It is. Um, about 65% of our youth are trans or non-binary, so we are um, obviously giving them extra support. Um, we know that um, typically one in five youth will um, think about suicide, um, one in five trans youth, so that's really important that we give them extra support and uh, just let them know that um, you know there are people who do support you for who you are. Given that uh, so much seriousness has been happening, that makes, I would imagine, a, a week like we're about to see with all the Pride Festival events, uh, including, uh, I know you've got a carnival coming up that we'll talk about, but that makes it that much more important that they have a, a space to relax, if you will, to have a good time. It does, and even for those youth who are not safe being out yet in their families, it, it lets them know that there are people out there who do support them, even if it's just um, quietly and it's someone that they see that can be supportive, even if they can't say, this is who I really am. Uh, your carnival that's coming up uh, in the coming week ahead of Pride Festival. What's going to be happening there? Um, so uh, Wednesday, June 8th, we have a carnival happening from 1 to 6 p.m. All youth are welcome, ages 12 to 20. Um, we'll have games, um, fun carnival, food, things like that, um, a um, drag show um, put on by the youth. So um, lots of fun, just a time to hang out. It's going to be held at our um, activity center at 3733 North Meridian. And when people think of, of Pride Carnivals, Pride Festival, the parade, uh, obviously this is, it's, it's for the LGBTQIA community, but uh, it, it's also a place where allies can be there for the LGBTQ people in their lives. Definitely. Um, a number of the youth that we serve are straight identifying, so um, we're not just strictly LGBTQ youth. We're, we welcome anyone ages uh, 12 to 20. What's uh, your uh, setup going to be at Pride Festival? What are you planning for the festival day? We will um, be in the parade, of course. Um, that's always a great time for our youth. Um, they really feel the love of the crowd um, as we um, are in the parade. And then we will have a booth at um, the Pride Festival where youth can stop by and get support. Parents can stop by um, 
and learn about programming and then the general public can come by and help support these um, kids who really need support right now. Indiana Youth Group is online as well. They can find your info where? IndianaYouthGroup.org.